Oh yeah. I went and did it. Got the SLX DC. I have the SLX, just a plain SLX, and I really like it a lot. So I went and picked up the SLX DC, and once I get a rod for that reel, I'm gonna do a review on it, and then I'm gonna do a comparison from the SLX and the SLX DC and see what the difference is, and then I'll let y'all know what I think about that. But besides that, the video y'all are about to watch is actually a video of me fishing from Utah to California to Nebraska. And if y'all like the content, please like and subscribe. And then in the comment section down below, leave some feedback and some challenges. I'm trying to do something different, but I need some feedback from y'all. But anyways, enjoy and stay tuned. up YouTube it's been a while I haven't posted a video in a minute I've actually uh, been super busy working and stuff but right now I'm in Cedar City Utah about to go down to a lake holy crap I'm out of breath I'm not used to the elevation I'm from Texas this stuff ain't no joke but anyways about to go down to the lake do some fishing I'm actually in an online tournament right now and I need to catch five big bass but we'll see how it goes <sighs> hopefully we do good stay tuned for some reason i didn't have my camera on that whole time but got out to the pond laid into this one on crankbait and this, this pond is awesome looking though. And the water is like stupid crystal clear. Stupid crystal clear. Like you can see all the way to the bottom for feet and feet and feet. All right, let's get another one. Let's get another one. Gosh. <laughs> Not what I'm looking for, but look at that, man. Goodness gracious. A big catfish. I don't know. I wasn't fishing for catfish. I was fishing for bass and he bit it. Man, he is huge. Yeah. I know it. God, thing's big. <laughs> Check that guy out. Man, he's massive. There's one. There's one. Oh. 
Ah. All right, there's number two. A little large mouth. What is up, YouTube? So I just made it to Garden Grove, California, uh, about to do some fishing at a pond. It's supposed to be a pretty good pond. Uh, there's some largemouth in it, bluegill, catfish, whole nine yards. But as you know, I'm gonna be fishing for some bass. So we'll see how it goes. But yeah, this is what I'm working with right here. Two separate ponds, pretty big. Hopefully we can lay into some donkeys. There's one. Oh. Ah, finally. Oh. Yeah, that ain't bad either. A uh, bandito bug, man. Soft plastic. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I figured because the water's so dirty. What is up YouTube? So we made it to Nebraska. We're in North Platte, Nebraska on the way to South Carolina. But anyways, about to go do some fishing in the morning. Super late right now. Just made it in, it's about 12 o'clock. Need to get some serious sleep because tomorrow we're gonna catch some donkeys. I've been here before. Some good fish have been caught here before. So hopefully it goes good and we can lock into some good fish. But yeah, anyways, stay tuned. So. I just made it down to the lake. I'm gonna let it warm up a little bit. Man, it is cold out here. It's 55 degrees and it's the middle of August. That is, that amazes me every time I come up this way. But anyways, yeah, I start doing some fishing, man. Pond looks great. Got some fog on the water, glass slick. It's gonna be good. There's one. Oh, that one's small. I saw him chase it though. That's pretty cool. That's number one. Boom. See you later, buddy. There's one. There's one. Come on. Feels better. Ah, came off. That's one. That feels like a better one too. Come on. Man, that was pretty cool. I watched him hit it. <clears throat> Come on. All right, there's number two. Still waiting on that giant. See you later, buddy. There's one. Got that one. He ain't coming off. It's a little dink again. Dink. I don't even want to show y'all him. It's too small.
that's a better one there you go that was one of the ones i was looking for that feels quite a bit better come on stay on there you go that's a better one Check that guy out. There you go. There's the first good one of the day. Just busting over here. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's what I'm talking about. Woo! That's a good one right there. Get it in here. Get it in here. Woohoo! Woo! Man, he freaking smoked that flute. Barely had him hooked. Hook fell right out. Decent, I, th I mean, I thought he was bigger than that. I tend to over exaggerate sometimes. That's a pretty decent one right there. It's like they're getting bigger throughout the day. I would say like a soft jerk bait is one of the most versatile baits that you can have in your tackle box. I mean, it really does do the job when you just want to catch the fish and kind of figure out the fish and figure out what they're doing. calling this one. I'm going to catch fish out here. Knew it. Oh, that's a good one too. That's a good one too. Come on. That's a nice one. He choked it, man. There you go. That's another one. That one ain't too bad, man. This spot right here is actually pretty good. I'll show y'all. There goes the bass right here. There you go, he got you. Smoked it. It's three in the, wait, is that three? Yeah, that's three in the same spot. See you later, bud. There goes the bass right here. There you go, he got you. Smoked it. It's three in the, wait, is that three? Yeah, that's three in the same spot. See you there, bud. <laughs> 